everyone. I am Muhammad Kamran Khalil from YouTube channel The Physics Gurus. Now we will start the AS Physics. I got really good response from the O level students and the teachers, and they appreciated a lot related with this my channel. So many students have. Uh, told me that uh, they want the AS level physics uh, video lectures as well so I am here to start the AS level physics so the first thing related with the AS level that you have to appear in three papers in AS papers the number one is the paper is related with the MCQs and 40 MCQs will be asked in that paper and the duration of that paper is 1 hour and 15 minutes then the paper number two the AS level structured questions paper so you have to attempt all the questions there is no choice in this paper and it contains 60 marks and the time duration is the same 1 hour and 15 minutes now the third paper the third paper is advanced practical skills this paper contains 40 marks and it will have two hours with respect to the third paper that paper contains two practicals and this is not necessary that these practical will be asked from the syllabus you have read Basically in this paper they will judge your practical skills, they will judge how you will handle the apparatus, they will judge that how you will draw the graph and all those things. So the third paper, the paper 3 which is related with the practical, it all depends on your practice in the school. When you will perform your practical in the school, please be serious related with that. So that you will get the good grip on the apparatus handling and if there are some errors like the positive error, negative error then you can uh, very well explain that how to remove that error and what to do with the operators. The syllabus, the syllabus contain 13 chapters from the AS topics. Number one is the physical quantities and the units. Then number two, measurement techniques. In that we will discuss that how can we use the positive error, how can we use the negative error, how can we use micrometer, ammeter and uh, protractor and uh, similarly the most import important is the CRO and uh, then we will use that what are the uncertainties in all that. Then in the kinematics we will discuss the basic uh, relationship with the speed, velocity, acceleration and then we will discuss the equation of motion. So there are three equation of motion we will try that in that. After that we will discuss the dynamics and uh, in the dynamics uh, we will uh, discuss the Newton's law of motion, we will discuss the turning effect of forces and then uh, in the chapter number 5 the density, pressure and the simple concept of the force. Then after that chapter number 6 work, energy and the power. Uh, this is the easiest chapter as well because majority of the part of this syllabus is related with the O levels. After that we will discuss the chapter related with the deformation. Deformation in the O levels you have read a very small junk of that uh, portion but in this you will discuss in detail. Uh, then the chapter is related with the waves that what are the transfer waves, uh, what are the longitudinal waves but in detail and what is the uh, the difference uh, with the O levels and A levels uh, syllabus is that in uh, this chapter we will discuss the interference, we will discuss the superposition, we will discuss the standing wave, we will discuss the uh, stationary wave. So a lot of things has to be discussed in the AS level. And uh, the most easiest chapter and this chapter will be finished within one or maximum two lectures is the electric field. So the definition will be asked that how can you uh, manage the formula of that electric field then the current electricity and the DC circuits a bit difficult topic related with this uh, especially when you will uh, discuss the kits of rules then you have to be uh, uh, do a lot of practice in order to solve those questions and uh, at the end the unit number 26 is the practical and the nuclear physics so this chapter uh, is relatively easy uh, about 80% is related with the O levels and then the 20% is the advanced level from the AS syllabus. The units number which I have written is related with the syllabus content which are given in the, in the syllabus as well and uh, then there are two things in the syllabus. Uh, some learning objectives are written straightforward and some are written in the bold words. So the statement which is written in the bold is related with the A2. 
so the two books which i will recommend for you is the course book related with the cambridge as and uh, a levels international physics or uh, course book related with the cambridge it is a second edition you have to use and then the as and the a level physics by the mike crandall so these two books i love them to teach from these two books so you can download it from the internet or if you will have uh, the hard copy then it will be really best for you best of luck for all of you for the as videos from the youtube channel the physics gurus